This video demonstrates smiling return technique of laparoscopic knot tying. When a beginner learns laparoscopic knot tying, he finds it difficult to tie a knot with the thread. Then the swage end of the needle may be used to make the loop and once one become expert then you can he can go for other technique like o loop technique or c loop technique first the needle is passed through the silicon suturing pad and the suture length for using this technique should be just 10 to 12 cm now the needle is positioned in the smiley form now this is the overlap around the swage end of the needle again the needle is positioned in the smiley position now this is the under wrap and one one has to take care that when the needle is positioned on the needle holder then it is an active needle and it can injure any nearby structure thank you